Hi, my artists. This is Miss Rabin. Today, you're going to be making a seascape. A seascape is basically an image that includes water. Okay, it makes you think about outside. But you're going to kind of do an underwater seascape, a look on the inside, a look underneath the water rather than just some water in the distance like many of you have been doing um, in your seascapes behind your ducks. But what you're going to start with, the only thing you're going to put on your paper first of course, put your name on the back, but you're going to put a looping line on your paper. Don't take your marker and just go crazy all over your paper, just going nuts. You want to think about your looping lines because every looping line is going to become a fish. So I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to make these into something. So you don't want to go too, too crazy. So I've got plenty of looping lines and now I think I'm ready to start my fish. So I can come back in and I can add in some tails. Now this is definitely from your imagination. This is just something fun, a good little drawing activity to help you practice using lines and shapes. If you have a chance whenever you get done with these, and most of you will, please add color to them. You can make robot fish, you can make silly fish, you can make fish that actually look like fish that you've seen before. That's fine with me. I can do different patterns on my fish. Also, you don't have to do just fish. You can add in things like seaweed with wavy lines. You can even make things overlap. I like little sea urchins and sea anemones. So I'm gonna make a little sea urchin down here at the bottom. Looks like you might not like to feel that with your fingers. I'm gonna make a little anemone over here with the little pieces swaying. You could also include sea rocks, the ocean floor going back behind something or behind your fish. This one right here, I'm gonna make it into a fish this part here is going to be the tail. If you make a mistake with your marker, just go back in and figure out a way to fix it. Figure out something that you can do to make it look like it's not a mistake. Make it look like it was done on purpose. But these are just some fun fish that you can make. Um, I think what would be cool is if you can make one of your looping lines into an eel. For those of you who have been to Ripley's Aquarium, there are some eels. Whenever you go through um, the little conveyor belt, uh, I think it's called Rainbow Reef, there are some eels that hide in the back or in some of those rocks. And I always have a hard time finding them. But then when I do, I'm like, wow, they were hiding from me really, really well. So you can make whatever you'd like out of each of your looping lines. I am looking for really creative ideas. I love looking at you guys' artworks and thinking, man, I'm a grown up and how come I couldn't think of that? I love it whenever my kids surprise me. But anyway, this is just a little fun activity for you to do. I hope you have a great time today and I look forward to seeing these whenever I get back. I'm gonna be checking out everybody's artworks. Please write your name on the back and please write your teacher's name and your grade on the back too, just like we always do. And I hope you have fun. Bye-bye.